Welcome back to Jaws Drops channel. Today, we're going to talk about the supporting characters of the TV series Friends and how they've changed over the course of 29 years. Do you know why Bruce Willis appeared in the show for free? Stay tuned until the end to find out this and other interesting facts. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Oh, dark mother, once again I suckle at your smoky teat. <laughs> James Michael Tyler is best known for his role as Gunther, the manager of Central Perk Coffee Shop. Throughout all 10 seasons of Friends, he harbored a secret crush on the character Rachel Green. He landed the role in the series almost by accident, thanks to his skill in handling coffee machines since Tyler worked as a barista. Ironically, he never actually made coffee on the show because the coffee machine was too noisy for filming. The actor appeared in 148 episodes of the show, more than any other supporting actor. You can also spot him in projects like Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Scrubs, Fashion House and Episodes. In 2021, Tyler made a virtual appearance in a special episode of Friends The Reunion. After the release of this special, he publicly revealed that he was battling prostate cancer. During his illness, he became an advocate for raising awareness about the disease and urged middle-aged men to regularly get checked by doctors. James Michael Tyler passed away in Los Angeles at the age of 59. Every day with you is an adventure. And I can't believe how lucky I am. And I can't wait to share my life with you forever. Paul Rudd portrayed the role of Mike Hannigan, who made his debut in the ninth season and became Phoebe's significant other. The actor admitted to feeling a bit awkward about joining the show so late in its run. He felt like he shouldn't be a part of the story, even though he appeared in 18 episodes of the series. Prior to Friends, Rudd had taken on a dozen minor roles, but after that, his career took off. You can catch him in comedies like The 40-Year-Old Virgin and Knocked Up. Additionally, Rudd landed the role of the superhero Ant-Man and officially joined the Marvel Universe. Despite his involvement in big commercial projects, Rudd finds time for independent films and even earned a Golden Globe nomination for his performance in the sitcom Living With Yourself. Currently, the actor remains active in the industry. This year, you can see him in the series Murder in One Building and the upcoming installment of the Marvel franchise, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Oh. Oh my God, when these words are uttered, you immediately hear the raspy voice of Janice. Recall her gestures and get the feeling that you need to escape urgently. Maggie Wheeler played the role of Chandler's annoying ex-girlfriend and her signature phrase and laugh have become one of the most recognizable memes from the series. Throughout her career, the actress took on small roles in shows like Californication, Shameless, How I Met Your Mother, and lent her voice to a character in the animated film, The Addams Family. Since 1990, Maggie has been married to sculptor Daniel Borden Wheeler and they have two children together. Now, at 62, the actress has not been involved in filming since 2019, but she is still recognized on the streets and asked to laugh like Janice, which she gladly does. Oh, damn it! Oh, damn it! No, don't say that! Don't say that! Damn it! No, don't go back to repeating! Damn it! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Cole Sprouse's first solo role without his twin brother Dylan, was as Ben, Ross's son. During his time working on Friends, Cole experienced his first crush. His object of affection was the adult Jennifer Aniston, and because of her, the young boy often found himself at a loss for words and forgetting what to say. In 2011, the actor took a break from his acting career to pursue higher education. He enrolled in the archaeology program at New York University and interned at the American Museum of Natural History and the Metropolitan Museum. In 2017, Cole, who hadn't originally planned to return to acting, agreed to play Jughead Jones in the series Riverdale, based on the Archie comic book series. For a while, Cole had two Instagram accounts. On one of them, he posted pictures of those unfamiliar people who were taking photos of him on the streets. This was his way of coping with the discomfort caused by fans' intrusive behavior. Now, Sprouse is passionate about photography. He has had photo shoots for fashion magazines such as Teen Vogue, Luomo Vogue, and the Sunday Times style, not only as a model, but also as a photographer. Yeah, I know, I was an idiot. And I tried to forget you. I, I really did. You know, after we had lunch last year, I spent six months in Africa trying to get you out of my head. Tom Selleck played Monica's big love, named Richard. When the actor first appeared on the set, 
he received such loud and prolonged applause that they had to reshoot his scene without the audience. This is not surprising since Selleck had become popular back in the 1980s thanks to the series Magnum P.I. Throughout his career, Selleck has appeared in more than 50 films and television shows. His most recent work to date is the series Blue Bloods. Even during the filming of Friends, there was a noticeable age gap between him and the other actors. Tom was 51 years old at the time of his appearance in the show, although he looked fantastic. Now, at the age of 78, Tom Selleck still looks quite robust and distinguished. You are a man. <laughs> still got it. Still sexy. Just a love machine. One of the most memorable guest stars on Friends was actor Bruce Willis, who played Paul Stevens, Rachel's boyfriend and the father of Ross's girlfriend. The reason behind Bruce's appearance on Friends is quite unusual. In 2000, Willis was filming the movie The Whole Nine Yards alongside Matthew Perry. During the filming of the movie, Perry made a bet with Willis that The Whole Nine Yards would top the box office charts. Due to losing the bet, Willis guest starred on Friends and even won an Emmy Award for Best Guest Actor in a Comedy Series for his role. He donated his fee for the appearance to five different charitable organizations. Bruce Willis has appeared in over 150 films and was one of Hollywood's highest paid actors. Some of his most famous works include The Sixth Sense, The Fifth Element, Twelve Monkeys, The Last Boy Scout, Armageddon, Pulp Fiction, Lucky Number Slevin, and the Die Hard film series. At 68 years old, Bruce Willis has been diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. Unfortunately, Willis has retired from acting due to speech and memory impairments. Currently, he spends most of his time at his estate in Los Angeles with his family and avoids public appearances. I'm fine. I'd fight tonight if they'd let me. <laughs> now see this circle I'm marking off here? This is my zone of terror. John Favreau played a billionaire with whom Monica dated on Friends, and his career took a major leap after his appearance on the show. Initially, he struggled with episodic roles in low-budget series, but in 2008, he signed a multi-million dollar contract with Marvel and directed the blockbuster Iron Man. The film became a box office sensation that year, earning its creators over half a billion dollars. Considering that Iron Man from 2008 was the first film in the Marvel Universe, John Favreau's role in the company's destiny is almost historic. He managed to set a trend for superhero movies. Now at 56, Favreau is an influential producer and director responsible for projects like The Mandalorian, Iron Man, and The Jungle Book. He is also one of the key figures in the new Spider-Man franchise. Read about these women trying to have it all, and I thank God our little harmonica doesn't seem to have that <laughs> One of the most memorable roles in Elliot Gould's career was that of Jack Geller, the father of Monica and Ross on Friends. His initial popularity came from his role as Trapper John in Robert Altman's film M.A.S.H. In the early 1970s, he played several roles in Altman's films and had a significant role in Ingmar Bergman's The Touch. However, after Friends, he was unable to replicate his earlier success. Gould transitioned to television, where he took on supporting roles. In recent years, though, Gould has gained the status of a nostalgic star thanks to his commercially successful role in the Ocean's Eleven film series and its sequels. At the age of 85, Elliot Gould's last on-screen appearance was in the 2018 film Ocean's Eight. Did someone call for the long arm of the law? <laughs> In the 10th season of Friends, Phoebe finally approaches her wedding with her beloved Mike and her friends throw her a bachelorette party, complete with a male stripper, as per Phoebe's request. Little did they expect that instead of a handsome hunk resembling Channing Tatum, Danny DeVito would show up to entertain the ladies. With a career spanning over 260 films and appearances in iconic movies like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Batman Returns, Danny DeVito was already an established star when he appeared on Friends as a guest. However, in recent years, Danny DeVito has taken a step back from the spotlight and appeared on screens less frequently than during the peak of his career. This shift could be attributed to the Hollywood star's age and his desire to enjoy life with his wife, actress Rhea Perlman, whom he married 40 years ago. His most recent work was in the film The Estate. That's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, 
please press the like, subscribe to the channel and leave comments about which movies and actors you'd like to see featured in future videos. And if this video gets over 100,000 views, we'll share the most secretive facts about the TV series Friends.